Moin, I'm Tillmann of the Radlbande and I'm at the Eurobike 2021 at the booth of Babu. And you may well know Babu from their family bikes, as you can see here at the background. But you may not know that they also have a variety of cargo bikes, of pro range bikes. And Laura and Wim will tell us all about it. Hello, my name is uh, Wim Leder, sales manager of the Pro, uh, the Babu Pro bikes, uh, and I like to explain to you how uh, we came uh, to uh, to the department of Babu Pro within Babu. Uh, Babu started 40 years ago, so for 40 years we already manufacture uh, cargo bikes. We started out by manufacturing the first uh, model, which is about like that uh, for, for, for children, transport of children. And as soon as we had it on the market, we got the demands of a lot of uh, clients uh, asking for uh, cargo bikes for stuff instead of children. And that actually was already the beginning of Babu Pro, only it was not named uh, that. And this grew and uh, as people uh, discovered the, the, the pluses uh, of using a cargo bike instead of a car, they, uh, for the children, for transport of the children, they already uh, uh, started asking more about the possibilities of using a cargo bike for other uh, purposes. Uh, so uh, eventually, after four or five years, we got uh, questions of uh, bigger companies who had the same demand but had special demands because they want to use it on greater scale for special uh, stuff, uh, for bigger uh, containers or whatever. So that's how we made it a development com company. And within Babu, we already uh, had this development company who uh, asked uh, about what uh, the, the purpose was and then tried to find out the best way to, to design the bike for this purpose. And that's what we did for a couple of years. And then three years ago, we had uh, finally, this started out with this bike, which was uh, uh, developed for the Dutch Post uh, company. They had special demands about uh, the volume. It needs to be a large volume uh, cargo bike. This one is 900 liters. For the bigger packages, um, for the bigger uh, entrance to, to put in bigger stuff. So uh, uh, this was the start when as soon as this bike was ready for the post, we already decided to, to sell it also to other companies. And that's how we uh, came up with the name Babu Pro for the professional use of cargo bikes. Hello, so my name is uh, Laura Spines. I'm brand manager for Babu Pro. Um, like Grim already told you, um, they are special demands for the, uh, from big companies, but also for small companies. So we started to focus on uh, those companies. And um, well, the, the whole positive or the advances of, uh, of a cargo bike are very simple. So it's easy to park. You can park right in front of the door from your clients. You are way faster because you can, tr you can just cycle along the traffic jam and it's also fun if you cycle. You can wave to everybody. It's for your clients. It's very fun to. Um, it's, healthy. to it's healthy, of course. Uh, let's not forget the fuel. Every time you have to to go to the gas station and you're standing there and then you see this number rising again, again, again. In our perspective, only advantage for a cargo bike, and uh, we believe that it's also very fun for your employees. So uh, might be interesting to explain a bit about how the bikes are used by our clients. For example, the smaller one is used in the city centers. It's uh, only uh, 80 centimeters uh, wide. Uh, so you can go in between the traffic without any problem. Uh, it's 350 liters. This one is uh, used uh, mainly by uh, maintenance uh, people who have to do their jobs in the city centers. As you might know in Holland, a lot of uh, historical city centers are not made for cars. Uh, but made for horses. <laughs> um, so a bike is uh, more uh, a horse than a car is. So uh, that's why it's very convenient to use this. We find that, uh, for example, we have uh, clients like uh, housing companies. Um, they use it for their own uh, uh, tools. If they, have, if they need a bigger tool, if they have to install a toilet, for instance, then the whole way of working is changed in this company. Uh, first, these guys took everything they had in the van, parked the van in front of the house, uh, had to find a parking spot. Uh, at the end of the day, they had a parking ticket in Amsterdam. You get a lot of parking tickets. Uh, it was expensive. Uh, now, he just drives directly from home with his bike, with the, 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 the tools. If he needs a toilet or whatever to install, then the guy with the van comes by, 
drops off the toilet and leaves uh, immediately. And this is much more convenient for the whole company to do that. They need less cars because we only have one car to bring around all the, the bigger stuff. Every maintenance guy has his own uh, bike, which he uh, starts from home. And uh, so it's much more convenient to use this one in the city center. So what's the material? Uh, what is this made from? It's polyester. It's okay. opposite uh, made of a polyester uh, fase uh, with the resin, with polyester resin. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so pretty light. Um, yeah, that's and, the reason. It's pretty, pretty light, sturdy, it's yeah. waterproof. That was the main uh, reason why to use this, waterproof. And it's really easy to repair. That's another thing. Okay, yeah. Because for professional use, uh, people are in a hurry. It's a busy city, yeah. so accidents happen and it's really easy to, to, uh, to do repair this one. So, uh, like Wayne already explained us, there are a lot of um, companies, it used to be only the partial delivery companies, the large companies who are using the cargo bikes, but also smaller companies like uh, the plumber or a painter or like you see on the picture, grocery stores. Um, ex actually, everybody who has a service and going needs to go from place A to place B, they can use the cargo bike. And um, if we talk about the market, everybody knows that the whole bike uh, branch is, or the whole mobility branch actually, it's moving. It's, it's growing, it's uh, a lot of uh, innovating things, innovating projects are going on. And one of the big reasons uh, we notice for customers to, uh, or for, for companies, to buy a cargo bike is, for example, the zero emission zones. So by 2030, I believe, uh, a lot of zones in, uh, in the Netherlands and everywhere all over the place in Europe, at least, um, they need to be emission free. So that means that as a, for a company, you already need to start thinking about the thing like, oh my God, my van, with my van, I can't even go to my client. So I need an al alternative. Um, there are even people who believe that half of the of the complete transportation with the vans can be um, in the city centers can be switched to cargo bikes. Mm. So, um, well, a lot of things, a lot of it is happening, and um, we see a lot of uh, growth also. And that's also why we are still um, uh, developing new stuff. We are talking to customers and every time changing, optimizing our, uh, our cargo bikes. And this is uh, behind me, it's one of our newest uh, prototypes. Um, Wim, I think you can yeah. tell a little bit more about that. Yeah. So like Lara said, uh, these zero emission zones are coming up in all the city centers in all, all around Europe. And people are looking for solutions. If they have to get rid of their van and not uh, buying an electric van is not the best solution in uh, many cases. So what we're doing now is we're developing, this is a prototype, in which we really try to start and find a solution for uh, a, a cargo bike instead of, a, of a, a van, a small van. So this can carry uh, like 300 kilos uh, transportation. There are different ways of uh, choosing this, uh, this cargo uh, space. But it can be uh, three uh, cubical meters uh, even uh, that big. Uh, we have different solutions for the openings. Sometimes people have to uh, bring their stuff to the city center. They don't want to be in the way of cars which are still there. There are uh, different ways to use the space in, uh, within this car. They, they want to have an even loading uh, uh, place, but also have different other kind of small solutions where they can carry their stuff and lock it, that's really important too. Or they have the smaller packages, which they have to get out. Uh, so therefore, they have these kinds of, of solutions. Or even for the grocery, if they have to, uh, if they, they have to carry groceries or food, which is not very expensive, they just leave it open. So at the other side, we have this solution. They just can get it in and out as much as they can. They can also choose to build in a rack where they can put in the crates for every uh, delivery address they have. So that's yeah. uh, so. In this way, uh, we try to do as much as we already did by the trike XL. The, the uh, listen to the companies and ask them what they want, and then try to make a uh, solution in the form of a cargo bike which they can use to do this uh, what they used to do uh, by, uh, with their van. If you corner with a tricycle with uh, the loading at the back, it's really important that you are able to 
to cycle with it like a normal bike. Uh, because otherwise the corners are really hard to take. So anybody who is able to cycle can uh, cycle with this bike. And that's another advantage because you don't need a license, a driver license, as you do in the car. Mm. And that's uh, how uh, a lot of other uh, uh, workers can uh, use this instead of uh, the few who can use a uh, cargo van. We expect this one to be available in the first form, uh, starting from uh, springtime 2022. Uh, we think within the next summer, we have some orders from the UK already, so within the next summer uh, this one will be available. Really cool, you guys about to go out for a ride? Yeah, we, you can yeah. come out, we uh, depart. Very nice, yeah. Bye guys. <laughs> this, is, this is good content. Woo! Woo! <laughs> This is really fun. A good turning circle, huh? Because yeah. Then, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> Thanks, Wim, for presenting your cargo base and for the short tour that we <laughs> that we had in this prototype. Um, yeah. No worries. Thank you for uh, for having us here, and I hope you enjoyed uh, the quick uh, tour in uh, <laughs> did, yeah. in the prototype. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video as well. And yeah. Put your comments and questions below this video. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. And um, for more Eurobike videos, and if you want to join the Radlbande on their next tour, then... Please subscribe at Radlbande. That's right. So, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.